top 10 newest features on the Sony a7R Mark IV. So in case you missed the major announcement, Sony just launched their fourth series in the A7R. 61 megapixels at 10 frames per second, 15 stops of dynamic range. Now, unfortunately, there is no 4K 64 video, but there are plenty of brand new video features that got introduced in the A7R Mark IV that may convince you to get this camera. And be sure to stick around and hear more about my free filmmaking course and what my sponsor, Squarespace, has to say. Number one, there is a slight redesign to the camera body. While the exterior looks similar to the a7R 3 and the a7 III, the grip definitely got bigger. Our pinkies now have something to grip onto. Well, I can only speak for myself because I have small hands. Buttons now have outlines around them and they definitely feel spongier. You probably notice this new dial here on the top, but actually it's just the same shutter or aperture dial, but it lives outside of the case now. The exposure compensation dial now has a lock. The joystick has more ribs now, so your thumbs don't slip off when you're moving focus points. And to the left of the camera, the ports have mini doors now compared to the flimsy plastic pieces from before. Also, the SD card door slot is a lot more rugged. Number two, dual UHS-2 SD card slots, because you know, if you're gonna have some redundant recording for the 61 megapixel files, you're gonna have to have two slots that is UHS-2 to keep up with the writing. Oh, and they've switched the card slot one to the top now, so get ready to get used to that. Number three, by popular demand, Sony now has included the option to change the focus frame color to red or white, making it easy to see where the focus point is when you're moving it around the screen. Finally, am I right? Number four, in case you mess with the settings in creative style, just know that sharpness now can be raised to plus five as opposed to plus three from before. Number five, this option here called display from my menu will make your custom menu appear first when you hit the menu button. If you've ever complained about the Sony menu, they just made it easier for you now to access your most needed options. Now the next couple of new features are huge updates to video shooters. Number six, you can set two different quick function menu for photo and video. As a hybrid camera, I've always thought it was strange the quick function menu had to have a mix of photo and video options. There would definitely be times where we don't need a certain photo option in video mode and vice versa. So it's great that we can now have two different user settings for two different modes. Number seven, for those who complained about the naming convention of video files, you now have the option to change the prefix to the letters of your choice and even put dates in front of your files. Plus, the counter doesn't reset when you record to a different card, making your organization workflow much easier. For example, if you record up to C0050 in the first card, it will name the next file C0051 on the second card. Number eight, and of course, the massive update for video, real-time eye autofocus tracking. Up until now, it had been a common misconception that eye autofocus also worked in video mode, but it is a reality now. Stay tuned for further testing on the accuracy of this, but I'm pretty stoked for it. Number nine, another major video update. Face detection will work in 4K with an external monitor plugged in. And the screen does not black out when you hit record. With previous Sony cameras, the weird workaround was that you have to use an external monitor with external recording capability if you wanted to shoot in 4K with an external monitor and have face detection turned on. However, if we did that, we were forced to disable internal recording to our SD cards. That was an issue that was plaguing a lot of video users for a very long time. And now finally, this has been resolved on the Sony a7R Mark IV. Number 10, last but not least, a major user experience update. You can now save your own user settings to an SD card and load it onto a different camera to save you setup time. This is also perfect for those who work in a team and share cameras and need to pull up their own individual custom settings. However, if you do format the card, those settings will be erased. So what you can do is save these settings to your mobile phone via the Imaging Edge app and load it to whatever camera you're using. And those are the top 10 things that we've learned about the Sony a7R Mark IV. We're still gonna do a comprehensive video on this camera, so let me know what kind of tests you guys wanna see in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. 
I'm sure you heard by now, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create beautiful and clean websites. Recently, Vivian and I launched our free filmmaking course and we created a landing page to house all five tutorials. Creating this page took us no more than 30 minutes to put together thanks to Squarespace's user-friendly interface. Whether you need a website to build a portfolio or an e-commerce store, build it with Squarespace. Start your free trial today and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jason Vong to save 10% off your website or domain. But for now, you can head on over to www.jasonvong.com slash free film course to see this page live right now. In my free film course, I will show you how to create a stunning cinematic travel film. I'll show you the gear that you will need, the basic cinematic settings, how to master Sony's autofocusing system, and a few basic gimbal moves that can create powerful cinematic results. Again, it's a free filmmaking course, so go ahead and go to that page and check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.